old chords. It is going to be a great show. It is blueberry and rhubarb season. Fly me to the moon. Let me play on my... Oh, that's the wrong song. I'm thinking of the blueberry song. The one that Richie Cunningham from Happy Day sings. And the one that Fats Domino wrote about, right? I found my thrill. Do, 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 do. On Blueberry Hill, do 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 do. On Blueberry Hill, do 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 do. I found my thrill, do 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 do. Now let's get started with this thing. I'll sing that song later. We are going to make a blueberry crisp and and rhubarb. Now, folks, blueberries are in season right now. Blueberries are in season right now from uh, from. Um, Actually, next week is blueberry season. It starts, and you can evidence by this bush that I took from outside. You can see some blueberries around there, ready to pick. But there's some ones that need to be uh, ripened up a little bit. So, next week to the first week in September, September 8th or 10th or so like that. And rhubarb has been in season for um, throughout the spring, the early spring, and it is going to be in season till the you know the end of the summer most likely you can still buy rhubarb but this is just like celery folks all right so this is really really tart you have to cook this with sugar so what we're going to do is we're going to take a bowl we're going to put our fresh blueberries right in there all right here's our rhubarb we're going to slice this rhubarb i like to slice it almost the same size as the blueberries so um, when you eat the blueberry crisp you'll get the pieces of barley in there I mean, no, not barley, rhubarb. So we'll pop this in, equal portions, boom. Right, nice, beautiful. I forgot my spoon. Got a little spoon right here. A little cornstarch, right? And some granulated sugar, beautiful. Just gonna sweeten this up a little bit. We're gonna mix this. Just like that. Now this has a lot of liquid. This is going to come out and the cornstarch is going to thicken it up a little bit. Okay. Thrust it in. And that's going to go on this beautiful pie plate right here. It's really, really simple. It's something you can do while you're friends with this dessert like you did last week with the strawberry parfait. Awesome. Okay. So you got equal portions in there. Now, now we're going to make our crisp topping. All crisp topping is really simple. It's old-fashioned oats. Pop it right in. Old fashioned oats. Whole butter. I like to use sweet butter for baking because then I can control how much salt I put in there. This is awesome. Whole butter. Okay. All purpose flour. Right in. See what I'm doing here is I'm cleaning as I can go along. Okay. And brown sugar. You know what I forgot to put in here? I forgot to put in a little salt. A little salt goes in here, just like a quarter teaspoon. And the same thing in here. The salt gives you a little contrast and flavor. Mix that salt in a little bit, and this is all going to gel. It's all going to mingle in there. And I also put cinnamon here. All right. Also, folks, to add a little extra flavor, I'm going to add a little lemon zest. The zest is the yellow part of the lemon. Once you hit the white part, it starts to get bitter. That's called the pith. So you want to constantly go. You want to put about a teaspoon of this in here. What this is going to do is going to uplift that flavor of the crisp itself. And this is where the oil is. You can see if you squeeze it, there's oil on your fingers. And this is where the, the essence is. Okay? The acidy juice is inside the lemon. The zest, I can, you can use some of that, Barbara. I have Barbara filming. Barbara, say hi. Hi. I'm going to show you who Barbara is later. She's behind the scenes. She does a great job. Anyway, you can see the zest, and I'm just, once or twice I'm hitting it, and I'm trying to hit, hit every spot. I don't have my glasses on, but that's okay. So there you go. So you got your zest in there. See that? You got your lemon zest. Okay, so now I'm going to start to mix this with a fork, because I don't want to get all this on my guitar. See? I've already preheated my oven to 375, and I've made a finished product to show you because that's what we do when we do these cooking shows, because we don't want to keep people on here all day waiting for the oven to cook the food. So this consistency, I'm going to have to do this 
You can do this with your fingers, just like this. And the whole butter has to be softened. You leave it out a little bit for an hour or two. And uh, I think I'm going to wash my hands, Barb, before I do this, because this will get all over my guitar. And this is your consistency. And the whole butter, what the whole butter does, as opposed to melted butter, kind of sticks everything together, right? So you're putting this on here, right? Now you have lemon zest in there. I can smell it. You have brown sugar, and this is going to toast up beautifully. And what's going to happen is it's going to make my house smell just like um, a bakery, a cinnamon, you know, the cinnamon, toasty cinnamon, you know, fruit flavored in the air. It's almost like a Yankee candle. You don't have to buy a Yankee candle. Now you have your own Yankee candle essence, okay? So now, Bob, why do you show that? You can show that real close so that people can see it. I'm going to wash my hands. <clears throat> Fly me to the moon. Let me walk among the stars. I keep singing that song. I don't know. My buddy Anthony Coletti told me about that song. Because you should sing that song. I think that's a great song. But Anthony, I think I'm going to sing it next week, buddy. Because this week's the Blueberry Week and the Rhubarb Week. Nobody ever wrote a song about rhubarb, did they? Barb, did anybody ever write a song about rhubarb? Let me just introduce you to Barb real quick. There she is. Hi there, Barb. She's a sweetheart. She's my filmographer. Brianna works now. So Barb is recruited in. She's doing a wonderful job. OK, this goes into a 375 degree oven. Bottom shelf, you're going to put the timer on for about 45 minutes, OK? Actually, I would, I would check it after 35 minutes because um, once, the, once it starts to bubble, you see the fruit juice coming up in the bubble, you can take it out. If you take it out a little bit underdone, the blueberries are going to stay nice and whole and intact. They're going to be beautiful. And this is what this looks like right here when it's done. Now, I made this earlier today. I made this earlier today. So uh, this is really good. And one of the ways we're going to serve this is with ice cream, the whipped cream. I have some ice cream here. My whipped cream is in the fridge. OK? So this is, this is a beautiful, like a crock, like a, almost like a crock pot. But now you can put this on the stove. You can put this um, in the oven. You can put it on a grill. Or you can bake it in the oven. It's really awesome to use. And um, you can get these on my website. You just go to cookingandcords.com. So we are going to take this out. Now this beautiful crisp is crispy on top. That's why they call it crisp. But and the rhubarb adds a lot of tartness to the blueberry, um, the blueberries, because blueberries are just one flavor, but the rhubarb actually elevates the flavor because it gives a little spice in there, a little spiciness, you know, to your tongue, and also a little tartness. And you want to show this. So this is over here. And let's see. I'm using Friendly's Vanilla Bean Ice Cream because I like vanilla bean ice cream. So this is one scoop of this. All right, if you like more, you can put more. And I like the look of these martini glasses, don't you, Barb? That's great. Isn't that beautiful? And this is for Barb and I, by the way. And we're going to eat our dessert before we have our dinner. All right. A little whipped cream. This is whipped cream with a little vanilla, a little bit of confectionery sugar on top. Just a little bit here. Wow, look at that, Barb, huh? You know, this would be nice with a sherbet, too, or, a, you know, um, you know, like a you know, vanilla ice cream, a sherbet. I wouldn't put a coffee ice cream on here, though. I don't know if coffee would work. So that's that, and we're going to garnish it because we always need a little bit of contrast and color. So, guys, I don't know about you, but if you foodies love to cook, like I do, it's kind of relaxing. It really gets me relaxed and in a great mood. What a great way to connect with people. I really hope you're feeling what I'm feeling because I love this and it's a sense of pride and accomplishment. I mean, look at that. Simple, but just presented well, beautiful. We're going to leave this on this side. So this morning I woke up and I was thinking about the show and I, I found, I, I wanted to make my smoothie, my fruit smoothie. So I found a, uh, Three ripe, uh, un, uh, overly ripe bananas. So I decided to make 
a banana cake, and I added blueberries to it, and I added a, a streusel topping to it. So now look at this. That is beautiful. Now, you can do a couple things with this. You can heat this in the oven, okay, toast that up. Or you can take this in butter with a little saute pan and, and uh, do both sides like that. Or you can just eat it with a cup of coffee. But this is just beautiful. Look at that crumb on there. Beautiful. Right, bud? Mm -hmm. Put a little crumb in there. And that is killer. This wasn't part of the deal. This is an extra bonus here, folks, okay? <clears throat> so there you go. Blueberry and rhubarb crisp. Awesome, awesome. I don't know. You can't get any more summer than that, Barb. I'm looking forward to our blueberry bush blooming up so we can do something else with it. So as promised, cooking in chords. song anyway I tried to do it I did my best folks listen I really appreciate you, you, you coming on to the cooking court show I'm really loving doing this offering a lot of value I love I just love doing this stuff for people and this is great I hope it brings you a ton of value and you can use this stuff with your families but listen folks I gotta be honest with you I'm putting something together in the next couple of weeks that has to do with food and I'd like you all to be a part of it I'll let you know the details I haven't figured it all out but if you'd like to be a part of it, please inbox me, private message me, and let me know. All right, you can also go to my YouTube page. I will put the link below after the show into the comment section under this video. And like and subscribe to the channel where you're going to get updates and you're going to get new videos. And uh, thanks again. And blueberry season, I found my thrill. See you soon. What's that song that? See you real soon. What's, remember that? Yeah. Anyway, a big dating game kiss goodbye. Love you all. Peace. God bless you.